Exercise 5. Exercise 5 challenges us to construct an isosceles triangle and be given some information regarding the geometry. So the base length AB equates to 100 millimeters and the base vectices measure at 75 degrees and 52.5 degrees respectively. Hi folks, so now that we've gone through exercise 4, let's have a stab at exercise 5 whereby we are being challenged to construct an isosceles triangle. We'll be giving some information regarding the base, so I'm just going to proceed by drawing the ray, get our pair of compasses, and we'll be given the base to measure 100 millimeters, similar to the triangle in exercise four. So we've got 100 millimeters, so I'm just going to stand at one end of line, scribe an arc like so, stand at worth cut, scribe the arc, and do likewise on the opposite end. And this gives us R, A, and B. So I'm going to use an outline to firm out the base of the triangle, like so. So this is what we're going to do. This time we're not going to be using a pair of protractors to measure the angle. So the first triangle that we need to construct has the base angle of 75 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to use just a compass and a straight edge to construct a 75 degree angle on one end. Now, to save time, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to construct a 75 degree angle at point A, do likewise at point B. So what I'm going to do is I'm more or less going to bisect the line. And where the bisector intersects with our 75 degree projectile, that would give me point C, and I'm just going to join point C to point B, and that completes the triangle. Okay? So, how do you go about doing this? So, the first part would be to project a ray from A. Okay? Now, I could either construct um, another bisector which would be 90 degrees. I think I'll, I'll do that. Let's do that. Let's give that a go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a pair of compass. I'm just going to open to a reasonable distance. I'm going to draw a semicircle. Okay, a semicircle like so. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand at one end. So let's call that end, I don't know, let's call it one and the other end of the semicircle. Let's call that two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand at 1, open to a distance greater than A, but not exceeding 2. Then I'm going to scribe an arc like so. Okay. Then I'm going to stand at 2, same distance without closing the compass. And I'm going to strike an arc to cut the previous arc. And where the two arcs intersect, I'm going to call that three. Let me call that point three. I'm going to draw a line through A through point three, like so. Okay, so this ray characterizes our 90 degree angle. All right. So how do you construct 75? So the first thing we're going to do is we want to see if we can construct a 60 degree angle. So similar to uh, the technique that I use in exercise four, I'm going to make sure right, that the distance that the compass is open is to the radius of the semicircle. And I'm going to scribe an arc to cut the semicircle. So let's call this four, okay? So four more or less gives us our 60 degree angle. So I'm just going to draw a line like so. And this characterizes our 60 degrees. So we've got 19, we've got 60. So we know that if we're able to add an additional angle 15 degrees, 
did not give us 75 degrees. So how do we do that? Now we know that this angle, okay, from one to four measures 60 degrees. Four to three, the angle measures 30 degrees. Why? Because 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. So if we divide 30 into two, we will get 215, so 215 halves. Which means that if we bisect the 30 degree angle, that will give us our 15 degrees that we can add to 60, and that will measure 75. So, we're going to put our compass at 4. Open beyond half the distance, like so. And I'm going to describe an arc as shown. And I'm going to stand at 3. Scribe an arc to intersect the previous, like so. So we're going to call that five. Let me just use a different color. So we're going to call this intersection five. So if I draw a line through A, through five, that line with respect to the horizontal, I shifted, respect to the horizontal will give us our 75 degree angle from A through to 5 like so okay so we can double check with our protractor and as you can see this measures exactly 75 all right so we've done one half so to save time you can either construct 75 degree angle at B. But what I want to do is I'm going to speed up the process. And this is what I want to do. I'm going to bisect AB. So I'm going to put our compass at B. Oh, with more than half the length of AB. I'm going to scribe the knock like so. And I'm going to scribe one at the bottom, which you can't see, but it's more or less a mirror to what I'm doing above. Scribe and knock myself and do likewise at the bottom. Okay. And then with a straight edge, or you could use a 45 degree set square because this should more or less go through the same point. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line where the two lines intersect. That should more or less give us. Our end result. Okay, so scribe like so. So this is quite a tall triangle. Okay, so the two lines meet here. Okay, so this is where the two triangles, and I'm just drag the ball down a bit. Or better yet, let me just move the camera up like so. Okay, and this is where point C is. So that is our C. And all I have to do is just join C to B, like so. And then C to A. Okay, and this small is gives us our triangle. So let's see if we could just move the camera to bring everything in frame like so. Okay. Alright. And that is basically the isosceles triangle that we've been tasked to construct. <laughs> Thank you.